Good morning. Today we are stopping. We're in Iron Mountain, uh, Michigan, and we're stopping at the World War II Glider and Military Museum. Well, here we are in the uh, museum. And it got a nice little airplane there and a little gas station replica. But here's a 1939 Woody Wagon. This was assembled here at the, in the Kingsford plant. And uh, it's a beautiful shape. little sign right here. It says, uh, Combining Beauty with Utility. 1939 Ford V8 Woody Station Wagon. That's a beautiful, beautiful restored car right there. And over here, it's a PT boat kind of famous from uh, uh, Kennedy and stuff but there it is a PT boat and this little uh, beast right here it thinks heavily armed got four torpedoes on it's got a big gun in the back uh, uh, look at dual mount uh, 50 caliber machine gun there it's got a uh, let's see what else we got oh, on this side yeah you can see it's got uh, torpedoes it's got the rocket launching tubes right there and this thing will do like 40 miles an hour it just flies pretty fast a little patrol boat so there it is the old PT boat let's see alright then down the corner oh this is the back of the uh, woody station wagon it's like a little uh, picnic setup you know you got your uh, stove there it looks like and uh, Kingsford charcoal of course and they got some pretty old cars and there's some nice stuff in here a lot of military, uh, there's a Craig rifle right there, a lot of uh, military accoutrements there, uniforms and different uh, pieces and stuff. And as we're walking back to the glider, you can see a neat old dump truck here, and of course it's a, a Ford, and then a, a fire truck, and yes, it's a Ford too, <laughs> another Ford, but uh, this is a really cool thing right here, this is a little bulldozer. They could put this bulldozer inside the glider. They could either put a bulldozer, uh, a jeep, or troops. And it would sit inside the front. That nose of the glider would raise up. And they could uh, back that bulldozer in there. And then when it landed, they could take that bulldozer and start working the land to make regular runways so that more conventional airplanes could land. But there's the glider. This is the... Uh, restored glider. This thing is beautiful shape too. It's completely restored and uh, just an amazing sight to see. And like I said, there's some, a lot more uh, little accessories and displays around the museum but here's the glider and that whole nose lifts up and to load it but that right there is the, uh, the, the tow line. They could pull it, you know, it's a glider. It takes off by another airplane pulling it. And you can see the little skids there in case it came down nose first. They could uh, skid on those skids to get it back to where it belongs. And like I said, it's, this thing is beautiful. It, it used to be, this one was actually restored. It was used as a camper. You can see that in a little bit in the video. And uh, over here some Japanese stuff. There's a Japanese rifle and uh, some just different flags and some Japanese sandals there and some... German stuff, some German uniforms. And now this right here, this is a part of the 70,000 pieces that are used to build a glider. A lot of it made out of wood and then there's metal of course. But uh, 70,000 pieces and took a lot of work to build them but they did a really great job they said according to the video I watched about this place. They said uh, they, everyone they built was was um, perfect pretty much okay there we go that's a, a Jeep it's really a Ford but that's uh, the military Jeep GP general purpose our general personnel GP and that's the metal frame of what the glider would look like in the front that's, that's without the skin on it and you could see how the nose of the glider would would lift up and they could back that Jeep into it or, or drive it out once it landed but uh, another beautiful restoration of a Jeep with an M1 Garand on the on the windshield mount. Pretty neat. And uh, it's got the uh, uh, 
pintle mount there, the uh, mount for the machine gun up there, kind of like uh, the old Rat Patrol guys. If I had a Jeep, I'd have to have a, a 30 caliber machine gun on a mount like that. That'd just be pretty cool. And there you can see the frame of the glider. This is just the, the front part of the frame where the crew would sit and the uh, cargo. The cargo either being a men, Jeep, or a bulldozer. There's that one just sitting out in the field where they found it. And a little trailer. Let's see what else we got there. There's a... Uh, that's just some more stuff. You know, a lot of displays around there. And you can see this, this glider is beautiful. A lot of work to restore that thing. And we're going to go inside and take a look at it and see what it looks like. We're not really going to go in it, but we're just going to stick our head in there. And it comes apart in pieces too. That you can see right there's a joint. They could bring these things in and assemble them out uh, once they got them to where they needed them. But there we go. That's the setup as a for hauling men right there. And they got the seat belts or lap belts. And you can see the uh, benches that they would sit on and the pilot co-pilot up front. And then in the back is just the fuselage. There's nothing back there but what holds the fuselage together. And then uh, a lot of the cables to run the controls. Uh, all the uh, controls are run by cables there. And then let's see what else we got. Uh, eh, that's about it. Just a nice little view of the cockpit there. And uh, wooden seats to sit on. Just very simple. Let's see what else we got in there. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher. Old timey fire extinguisher. Some windows to look out. I guess the little windows. Okay, here we go. Now there's a guy. That's a, a Browning automatic rifle right there. And uh, this another. Uh, that's like a. What is that? It's a uh, ammo belt and cleaning rods and just different stuff. And here's what it looked like. This this was a camper when they found this particular glider. The people that had it set up as a little camper. And they restored it back to what you see it in its condition it is now. But that was a little camper that somebody built. And actually, many of them were built like that. I guess all the ones they built uh, for the war that didn't get delivered, they had to put them to use to somehow. So they made little campers out of them. But this one's been turned back into a glider. So this is a later model, a later version. It's got, actually got tricycle gear. It's got a, a wheel up front. So it had a wheel up front and two midsection there. As opposed to the original ones that had two wheels up under the wing and then a tail dragon, a dragon wheel. But it had little skids up front too. In case it came down nose first, I guess. Charcoal briquettes, Ford to Kingsford.
I like his hat. Look at his helmet. <clears throat> On the helmet he's got a little thing of insect repellent.